And you are watching Eyewitness Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. Andy Mahalshik, along with Janet Bugda, Dr. Dave Sozar from King's College, and David Yonka from the LULAC, political leader here in northeastern Pennsylvania. We are talking in this segment about the race for the 10th congressional seat here in Pennsylvania between incumbent Republican Tom Reno and Democratic challenger Michael Moslevich. And it's a race, again, that hasn't been getting a lot of attention, but again, the fearless forecasters, are you, will that change... Uh, David going forward we're getting close well I don't think it'll change I think that it's a done deal that Mr. Marino Congressman Marino is going to be reelected but the interesting thing is uh, back in the spring there was basically a, um, uh, an, a non-contested race and then Michael Mel Melsevich who was the um, mayor of Lewisburg uh, it put his hat into the ring and got the 1,000 votes to get on the ballot as a Democrat. Kind of the same thing that Stephanie Salavantis did in the DA's race here in 2011, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he's a candidate running, and he said that he was inspired to run because of Marino's embracement of Donald Trump. And he decided that he had to get into the race, and he was a council member in Lewisburg and Mount Carmel resident, I believe. Okay. And Tom Marino has, has taken taken the lead here in this section of the state uh, uh, in promoting Donald Trump. He and, and Congressman Lou Barletta were two of the, the very early congressmen who uh, started advocating for Donald Trump. Tom Marino himself, though, is, is probably been so well known down through time. Uh, he served as Attorney General, or, or as uh, not Attorney General, but DA, a, a, DA, DA. Uh, a federal dis, uh, district attorney for a number of years. Uh, if memory serves me correct, I think he also. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dave. He might have been. Uh, I think he was the mayor of. Uh, Williamsport at one time, mm -hmm. too. So, I mean, his his uh, resume uh, has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, he's in a, a district which, which knows him well, uh, which supports him. Uh, he's been on a number of important congressional panels right now. Uh, it's gotten a lot of visibility uh, on the national press, as a matter of fact, on on the committees that he, he's uh, served on, uh, probably even more than, than Congressman Barletta, as a matter of fact. So, so, uh, you know, this is one of those races, I think, personally. Uh, it's the name you know. And, and you know, who do we vote for? Well, isn't it Marino? And you just go in and pull that lever. And, you know, I always said that the second most important thing a citizen could do, a second most patriotic thing a citizen could do is run for office. The first, of course, being in the military. And you have to give Milosevic, like, credit for deciding that he didn't want this to be an open race. And, you know, you know, from you know what we're seeing and what we're hearing, I mean you know he's really campaigning. He's putting the nose to the grindstone, and I think that you know you have to look at the numbers. I think any candidate goes into challenging an incumbent like this, knowing what the numbers are. But you have to give the guy a lot of credit for making the effort. And, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, uh, go along with you very strongly on that. One of the things, unfortunately, that does happen is that so many seats that that really aren't discussed across right. the country, many House seats are uncontested. And uh, uh, at least to see somebody willing to stand up and say, yeah, I'd like to do this. I know that it may be an uphill battle for me, but uh, I mean, you'd be quite surprised how as to I mean, the retention rate in the House of Representatives still runs at about 95 percent retention rate. It's it's probably. Uh, easier to either retire or to die in office than it is oftentimes to lose the office. And that's fascinating when you think about, conversely, the uh, low approval rating in the public with Congress, yes. you would think it would be the other way around, or at least 50-50% retention rate. But, but it's they're always, being reelected. It's always the other guy. My guy is the good guy. My guy's okay. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the interesting thing is, if you take a look at the congressional races across the country, there are only really 30 competitive races that I believe that, you know, could maybe tip the balance. And if you really take a look at a lot of, there's many districts all across mm -hmm. America mm -hmm. that are Barletta's districts and that are Cartwright's district and Marino's district. 
districts that have been carved out specifically for that party affiliation. And take a look specifically at the amount of money that the Democratic Party or the Republican Party actually feeds in. And the, that's the number of districts actually that usually get targeted as the hot districts that you want to support. All the others are just kind of left alone. And we do want to re, uh, remind our viewers that there's also an upcoming um, debate on public broadcasting, WVIA, yes. between Mr. Marino and Mala Savage for people to get to hear both of them uh, on, their, on their issues. And, of course, our um, interviews with them were seen previously before our segment here, and they can be seen on pahomepage.com under our Newsmakers and Local Election Headquarters and link. Be, and to be fair, that's something that you're viewers really do need to take seriously if you're going to make a conscientious decision. Really knowing something about the two candidates is important. Okay. Well, David Yonkai and David Sosar, we want to thank you for joining us. For Andy Mahalshik and everyone behind the scenes, you've been watching Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. You can learn more about our candidates and our program on pahomepage.com or under the Newsmakers link and under the local election headquarters link.